Okay, welcome to round three of this league with Bring to Light Scape Shift. I think this is a keeper. Not the most excited about it, but... Yeah, we're on the play, so... Man, just thinking about that last match I played uh, against the uh, Dredgevine deck. Just like making mental comparisons. It's like, man, I got Raven's Crime. That sucks. Oh, wait, Liliana is just Raven's Crime plus Loam every turn forever. She's discarded, 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 and you do nothing, and then you die. It's just built in. Okay, so this should be... Um, one, a good matchup, and two, I have the Dispel, so this matchup becomes really good. Let's rephrase that. Really good if I don't draw a million freaking bring to light scape shift effects. <sighs> Fortunately, it's okay. By the way, we're sequencing like this so that my opponent like makes plays as if I don't have cryptic active when I probably do. Lightning? Yeah, oh, that's a problem. Well. Lightning, really? I think I just discard two Brig Delights. Uh, maybe I was supposed to discard Cryptic Command? That's a beating. What am I supposed to do against Lightning? Have no idea. No. Counter, target, spell, draw a card. Uh, how does this work? How do I pay for my spells? Why are there so many options on Floody Grove? If I get Spell Pierce, that sucks. Or Dispelled. Hooray! We don't live in Nightmare Land. I have an untapped land. Yeah, that's fine too. I want probably like a more tap outy build with Jace's. Yep, there's a Jace. Um. Just gonna buy myself some time and get a card deeper. I don't really want to burn this on... I'm just going to pass with my cryptic commands up. Yeah, I'll take my bolt. That's fine. I. The thing is, I don't really want to tap out to get not hunting wilds here. Especially with my opponent at 20 Gs. That's so many life. Maybe... Maybe I should have used cryptic there because tapping out's the best... Like, that's the best use of my tap out turn. This is getting countered. No, 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 no. Counter target spell draw card. You do not get to have any fun whatsoever. That's fine. Um... Would like to pay two life. Get a 
Hmm. Actually, get a swamp. Play a million freaking cryptic commands this game. Don't think I can die from here realistically. I have dispel too, there's no way. So Jace, I don't I don't even know. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh counter target spell draw a card. Just need to get to my last land. You're not a land. You're a land. Uh, black, gray, blue. Blah. Sure, I got a bunch of blue floating. Not sure why I brung to light there instead of scape shifted, but hold up. Uh, yeah, I don't want to sacrifice Valakit, but that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually do want to sacrifice Valkyrie here because the only way I can ever lose in this board state is misclicking horribly. This is the first time I've resolved Scape Shift with my Watery Grave still in my deck, isn't it? I didn't miscount, right? Oh yeah, that's more than enough. Nope. Never pay life. Jeez, my opponent's deck is brutal. How do I ever beat the Mono Mind Rod deck? I don't even know if Obstinate Bailout is good against my opponent. Well, Anger and Bolt are not good. I think my opponent's deck is designed to make those cards bad. I guess Jace, but... Eh. I'd rather fight Jace on other axes. I don't think Dispel is very good. Is this the Anthony Lowry deck? Let me look up a list. Because it's Hangerbacks, right? Crisis Control by Anthony Lowry. I'm going to guess there's not a lot of counter spells. There's two hangerbacks. There's Dispels post board, which doesn't fight. There's Reman's main. Oh, this is similar. It's not the same. There's Blightings. Let's see. I don't really want to get into Dispel Wars. Negate is great, though. Um, Archmage might be good. Uh, let's play some Baylos. I get another Baylos. You know what? My opponent is playing so many Rise Falls. You know what? This is what's going to happen. We're just going to tell them, you know, exactly what happens when you do this. This is what you get. This is what you deserve. Taste of 4-4. Four, four. It's mulliganing. My opponent's playing a blightening deck. I'm obligated to keep.
Not because of the Bailoff, but because it, you know, actually has magic cards in it. Just like... Could literally... Like, literally, I think you have to keep seven ham sandwiches that can cast spells. That's a very good draw. Well, that's one vote against Cinderglade. I don't really know what you're casting. It's going back to your hand, though. No, that's a lie. Uh, boom. Listen, man. Get what you deserve sometimes. Uh, play Watery Grave. I'm going to bring the Scapeshift, Obstinate Bailoff, Tempo Beatdown business right now. That's what's going to happen. And also threaten a turn 5 kill. Pretty freaking awesome. I don't know. What's your deck do? I don't know. It just puts a 4 4 into play on turn 3, then kills you on turn 5 with a different combo. It's like the old. Um, this card, card, 2 damage to me. Do I care? I can put that back in my opponent's hand. Or I can just threaten to kill them next turn. I would like to discard a card. I'm going to get basics and leave all the islands in my deck. Really hoping my opponent's message is please don't have another one. That is fine by me. Congratulations. play around spell pierce and take the two damage. Black, red, blue, green, green. Bring to light, float, blue, green. Fine. I will beat you to death with Sakura Tribe Elder. Please accept my offer. I will lose this race to a tar pit. But... I guess unless I draw another Bayloth. Snap. Command. Lightning's better than command here. You leave the command in your graveyard too. That's pretty cool. That brings me under 15 too. It's good beats. This is targeting... Uh, what is going on? Uh, what, what's this targeting? So this is targeting... No whammy. <laughs> uh, targeting SCG Blue and Sakura Tribe Elder. 
basic mountain would like or basic island would like to enter the battlefield. Well, Yeah, I'll hold that as potential protection. I don't even know why. That's probably a mistake. Yep. I have two and a half draw steps, basically. This is a Jace that I have. Yep. Nope. I have two draw steps. Hooray! I feel so smart and accomplished. I put this card in my deck and it says kill you and then there's seven of them and then I drew them. Okay, let's uh let's figure out how many lands I can actually sack. Uh so there's a stomping ground in my graveyard, a cinder glade in my graveyard. Breeding pool, breeding pool, water grave, misty. Uh, one, two, three. I didn't even realize it shows up in chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think I can sack one more. Uh, get Valakit. Mountain, get mountain. Ha ha. Score one for the good guys. By good guys, I mean obstinate bail off combo decks. Which historically have been like Valakut decks and never been the good guys. But in this case, it's mono him to Torox versus, you know, this deck. So I guess I'm technically the good guy. Two Valakuts. Hooray, I didn't screw it up. Oh my gosh, there's so many nodes to click. Hooray! Paylos is a pretty awesome magic card, actually. <laughs> 